Hello and welcome back to Silence and Sounds, where we do long let's plays in chapter. Yes. This is the third episode of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. We came along a little bit, but far further. I don't know how to say this. And um, we know by now that um, her father had this affair with a 16 year old. She was pregnant and she jumped off a nine. Apparently, or well, how no, it's called what is it called? Um, not approximately, supposedly, maybe I don't know. Uh, allegedly, I think is the word, jumped off a bridge, um, a mountain or a high hill, like nine, no, 90 feet high, something like this. And we get to know more and more, get more information of what happened. Her father was a very strict pastor, reverend. Um, he always wanted his little daughter to be perfect. Maybe she fell in love with um, a 49-year-old guy, the father of us, who the character we play, because maybe he was nicer to her than her own father. And um, maybe there was a weird relationship between a 16-year-old and an almost 50-year-old. Who knows? But let's go and see what happens in this story. If you enjoy this, you know the drill. You can give it a thumbs up. You can follow, or you can just watch. How about that? That would be nice. So now, enjoy. Oh, the sound is there. Oh, I thought the sound was gone. <clears throat> okay, let's go. I have no idea. We started this eighth day. We don't have our map. We have basically nothing here. And we found one of these secret path passages, paths, whatever thingies. And I've no, no idea what to do now. Mom's award. Yeah, I'm a little bit stuck here because we have, uh, normally we have a hint at our um, um, with a map, but we can't get the map, we can't get our tools. Zoom is now on space. And I have no idea what to do. You are here. Thank you. That's very kind. Where do we have to go? Or what do we have to do now? We saw the picture. Um, of this dance, right? Where she... Oh, her father... Or where it was first... Oh, what is this? Something? No. Where her father was... Ballroom, yeah. That's the last thing we saw, the ballroom. Look at the pictures. I think we have to trigger something, but I have no idea what. That's my problem at the moment. So people were standing here in this picture and somebody was on stage. But that's not that ball ballroom, right? This is way too big. Look at this. What? Decent override. 
What decency override? Alcohol. Put it down. Alcohol. Hmm. Decency override. I have no idea what that means. Alcohol observe. Yeah. Do we have to go back to the picture? A link without huh? what? A link without sight. What's that supposed to mean? Hunting made easy, yeah. Nothing here. We turn on the telly. Eight, channel eight, okay. A link to the outside. I have no idea. Okay, now we are back here. Fine, okay. Game room, yeah. can't see a thing because I don't have my lights anymore. Something is moving here. Coin OP. I don't have a coin. I thought I hear something like, hmm? I don't get what... Hmm. Sounds like a door was closing. We got the screwdriver. Yeah, we had to have the screwdriver. Yeah. I think we go back to the picture. Maybe we get a hint there. Locker room. Ah, oh, that's where when you go out, some of this, the skis are and stuff like this. Um, but there was no hint. Am I missing something? It's Christmas. That tambourine diorama. This is the hotel. Um, we go upstairs again. 
Wait, we came here, out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the pictures here of a little girl over a, from from a kid. Where are the pictures? There. That's what we found. This is the apartment. Cleaner. Yeah, I don't need a cleaner. So what do we do now? Do we have new evidence? No. Always the same. What is it called? No. Hmm. Do something with the Christmas lights? No. The thing is, we can't do anything. Yeah, this was a testament and stuff. And this is where we found the path. We just have to... About, that wouldn't make any sense. And why can't we use... any of our stuff? Hmm. It's three in the morning. Okay. Yes, we found this path passage. And we can get through this. Staff only. And then we are here. Hmm. I missed a hint. I'm so absolutely sure. Sure. Where was that picture? I have no idea anymore. I forgot. This is the master bedroom, yeah. What is the goal now? We have to trigger something to continue the story. No. There's the wolf. Bad eyes. Murder eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the staff room. Wait. Um. Yeah, no. I have to go upstairs. Maybe in the attic. This is the room from the... Where the guys were, the people who actually picture? Yeah, there's a picture, I get it. What? Picture. But there's nothing. Are we in a dream now, or is it... I have no idea. Hmm. I hate it when I'm lost like this. Okay, let's go here.
Now it's in my coffee. Hey, I left you. Hey, I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little to make some light. Ha ha ha, Ben. Yeah, we have the flashlight, but we can't use it. We can't use anything. Well, Ben was working here. Yeah. Okay. Go here again. Guardian. Cabinet. I think I have to look I hate it when I have to look dust magnet yeah I hate it when I have to look things up because I don't get the you know what I mean <clears throat> okay this is the upper room the upper floor uh, yeah let's do this <clears throat> sorry Have to go back to the church. This is still sealed. Yeah, we can't open this. Construction cost estimate cancelled. Oh, twelve thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, of course you couldn't afford it anymore. Okay. Man, a yeah, room check. What for? Most of the stuff we can take has nothing to do with the story. We just can take these things. That's what I th how I see it. Okay, then we can go down here. I get this. So let's go to the open door again. Where was it? No, not that one. Well, that's the museum. No, that's backwards. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I think I will cut this in post um, afterwards. I cut this in post. I'm a movie star. Hello. Cut this in post. Oh, let's go there. Um, A picture. Yeah, well, that's an information we need. But what's the goal now? Oh, we're back at the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Where did we find... That picture? Okay. Not here. Close that effing door. Picture? I'm so sorry, it's, everything is dark here. Just looking for stuff. Um, let's go upstairs. Um, <clears throat> aha. No, that's a graphic mistake. Or something. Oh, wait. There's another one of these. Hello? It took a moment. All right. Oh, that's back to the church. Isn't it? 
Uh, we were here once. Where the big cables are. Wait. No, this is... Um, yeah, this is the janitor's room. Oh. Uh... What? I have no idea. I'm just running around here like a crazy person. Hmm. I'm lost in translation. Okay. This is the stage. But we were here now three times. This is day eight, I think. Uh. Huh? What is this? Why is this open? a laundry mat you okay washing machines wow what an info what an insight Picture Canada. I'm so lost. Can I have a hint? Locker room. Yeah, yeah. We can't get from the garage to the locker room. Yeah, yeah. We get that. Um, the ski route. Oh, is it a ghost with a rusty chain? Old ski? I have no idea. And why is everything gone? The map is gone, everything. No idea. We can't talk to the guy anymore. Let's go back to the church. Maybe that's the clue. Key. Idea. Address. Mother? Mother? Mother! We're back at church. Jesus. Organ. But Jesus. Okay, I will go back to the room. And, um... So we establish that there is a direct connection. There's a child's play thingy. And there's a direct connection from the church to the... 
uh, to the house, to the hotel of our father. All right. Anything here? No. Oh. Okay, let's go upstairs. I think we go to our room again. Maybe we just had to sit in our room. We, we've been through almost any thing here. I think I missed a hint in something. Thank you. Uh, where? I forgot where the picture was. This is bugging me. That's office. Yeah. That's actually not nice. You were here. Yeah, wow. Wow. Dining room. Yeah, we were here before. I have no idea. Let's go up. I have to look it up. It's sad, but that's how it is. So we found this short version of da of this connection from that room to this room. But that's it. That's the master bedroom. But otherwise there's nothing here. Nope. Well that's fantastic. Do we have to do the ornaments? No. Yeah, these are books. I get it. Do we have to go to bed? No, we tried this. Oh no! Irving? Merry Christmas, Oh my god! Nikki. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean... I, I don't think so, no. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious, I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Eh? I need a moment, and then we do the next chapter with an explanation. Maybe. <laughs> Well, what happened in the last chapter? <laughs> we woke up, and I had no idea. We just woke up on day eight, and we just had to take our inventory. And then, um, yeah, but now we actually have 25 minutes of me running around the house and not taking up, picking up the stuff. Right. I still don't... Eh? Wait, I have to report the window? Why? What? Irving? Are you still awake? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I thought you'd gone back to sleep. No, don't worry. I'm joking. I'm not good with words. I mean, 
with people. Huh? I feel like I don't thank you enough. I... I really want to be there. For you. Because I'm the murderer. And, and it would be interesting, nice, I, I don't know, to... to meet, maybe? If I ever get out of here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it would be interesting, Irving from FEMA. Oh, uh, uh, cool, yeah. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, a day at the lake? Mm -hmm. I think I caught a glimpse of Hauser Lake yesterday. Uh, that mm -hmm. would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. So, I'll organize it. Yes, sure, yeah. Cool. Yes, do that. Go. Uh, yeah, me too. Okay, so we basically made a date. My old was a hockey player. Ah, thankfully, I have to go back to the church. Don't want. Oh, we were there two times. Hello. I have to go back to the church. Don't want really, but my sleepy sleepwalking must be a sign. Yeah. Let's go back to the church. Take the tree with you. Maybe you have a long cable. And then you can actually... Oh, shut up. Shh! All right. So the bells are ringing for me and my gal. So, where? Oh, yeah, there's the kitchen. Um, nope. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? No. Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running mm -hmm. after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm... No. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Okay, now we can report all of this stuff. Okay, let's go. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. 
<laughs> Divided by everything else, I'd say. Okay. Okay, so they both thought that people at church weren't... Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. Uh huh. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. I have to write it down. Oh, something like down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart, or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Uh... Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Okay, were these the secret path... <coughs> secret... Um, pathos, pathos, ways, always, whatever we found. You practicing for the church choir now? Ah, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Uh huh. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. What? Save Peter Salvatorian. Okay, anything else? Okay, sleeping bags. Okay. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. God damn sons of... Ugh. I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Ugh. Okay, okay. Old storage room. Wait. Um. Master Suite, Museum, Overlook, Museum. We never went to the attic. Right? Locker room, church. If I solve this riddle, I could finally find the old storage room. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if I could solve this riddle, we could find this old storage room. Wow. I guess. I have no idea what this taught us now. There was a secret room where Mama used to put stuff.
No way. We were here. And there was nothing. Down the stairs. Watch your steps. Don't fall apart. Or it's your end. Round a corner. Turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's close can be opened. Two. If you see beyond, it looks. Oh, come on. We were there. Hello. I was ahead of the game. Just saying. Oh, shit. That's it. Where am I now? There. Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Reach hard. No, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. The kid's bedroom. I, uh, there's some windows drawn on the walls. Rachel's Books. book. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. There's a key. Breadcrumb. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Huh? So, somebody built the secret room here, between the church and the hotel. There's... Yes. Hello, I'm thinking... Listen, I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Mom... Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority. Maybe... Right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true... Yes, we did. You realize what that means? 
What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there, in total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel on his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. Yeah. You know that too. You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your eh? changed. I didn't get this as a you shrine. Didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No, I don't give a shit about what you have okay. to say. I just want you to know that if you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Can I now do my thinking, or are we interrupted all the time? Thank you. So, let's close this effing door. I can't, of course. So, he built, or somebody built this room between the church and the hotel. It could be her father, it could be the pastor, the father of Rachel. But the thing is, she died or vanished when she was 16. This is a little girl's room. This is not a teenager's room with a rocking horse and stuff like this. And the note, when this is really the key from her, from her room, it says breadcrumbs. So, like Hansel and Gretel, we follow the breadcrumbs. And somebody painted this one. Did somebody actually, is she still alive? And her father killed? Or... Uh, not killed her, but um, put her away? And he raised the child. His grandchild in here. This looks like a kid's room. Yeah, I saw the toy. It doesn't say anything. Robot teacher. Yeah, yeah. But there was something else. Wait. Retainer box. Why should we look at this? Okay. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. I don't get it. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let me piece things together. Okay, do this. I just found out... There's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Yeah. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide. And some even think she's still alive. Maybe if I think through my steps, I can work something out. First thing. The phone call. Mm -hmm. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. Mm -hmm. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. Mm -hmm. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, yeah, Rachel could have lived here. Yeah, but if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Mm -hmm. Unless they're all in cahoots. Yeah, no suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 no. I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. 
my key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? I don't know. Where do I fit in? Well, we don't know. Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Yeah. I know. That's what I thought, but I think maybe... Um, that's that. Uh, maybe... She didn't die. And her father put her in there. Because she said the room is at the hotel. It's of course underground the hotel, but it's on the way to the church. So maybe her father put her in there. The reverend. Or the reverend killed her. And raised the child there. His, his grandchild. And that's who they saw. And they thought it was Rachel. Right? I don't know. Let's try the music box. That's the next hint, right? The key I found belongs to the music box in Leonard's room. I'm going to open it, open it, open it, open it, open it! Open it! Sorry, sometimes I have these two reds. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. I can't move. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Uh -huh. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Day nine. Wow. What a story. Wow, wow, wow. What a story. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor. Yes. In the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. Okay. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me. Yes. To show them to me under another light. Who yeah. are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. Yes. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Yeah. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It... It all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Okay. Church. That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, mm -hmm. Mom volunteered to take me yeah. to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Mm -hmm. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. Mm -hmm. I'd better take a look before moving on. Okay. What? Okay, so this is basically the last room, so we're close to the end. 
we haven't gotten to the attic, right? And that's... Yeah, this is where we go to the attic. I'd better take a look at the mezzanine. I'm German, I can say this. Hello. Uh, mezzanine. Mezzanine. In the middle, the better things find... What? In the middle, the better things find their proper position. Right. Okay, let's go to the mezzanine. Oh, sorry. Um... have to go downstairs. She said at the reception, right? I don't know where what a mezzanine is. Why do they have all these weird words? Hi. We don't have to go there. We actually were in every square of the hotel, weren't we? Yeah, let's go and look for the mezzanine. Whoop whoop. Nope. Nope. I like the snow. Still. Alright, let's go. There is a mezzanine now. There is a... Oh. Okay, where is it? At the reception. gaming room. This is not the mezzanine. Mezzanine! Um, where is the mezzanine? Hello. What? Ah, mezzanine. 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 Hall? Dining room? Did you hear that? Did this say help or kill? There was a voice like help or help. It's sad that we don't use these toys at all. Let's use this. We, I mean I. That's a mezzanine. Toys in the attic. Oh, mannequins, why? Nude females. Why is there so many horror games with these mannequins? Mannequins. Uh. What is this? Yeah, we have to report this. I get it. Eh? A teddy bear, a hockey stick, and a mannequin. Hello. Irving? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine. Hello? And it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. Mm -hmm. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? It's my stick. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed. But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Maybe you killed her. Oh, God, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. There was somebody running down the stairs. Did you hear that? Okay, so it's her hockey stick. Is it possible that we killed Rachel? This, okay, so if we believe her, this is a scene where a mannequin with her hockey stick, and this is Rachel, 
and the baby. So we killed Rachel. And our mom. And this is why we had to leave. I think our mom knew f uh, um, about the affair that dad would have with her, with Rachel. And it's the reason why mother and I, so our mother and we had to leave was not because of the affair, because of the murder. And they threw her then down later. They threw her down at 90 feet. And they kept the kid. She was pregnant. No, this isn't possible. She had to give birth first, right? That's stupid. But I think we killed Rachel. Maybe jealousy? Because our father, in our opinion, never loved us as much? Where are you, Nicole? Oh. It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? What? How many are still missing? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Ooh. Hello, Irving. Uh oh These are new. Somebody's here. Now, while we were there, we heard somebody walking up steps. Up here. When we were in there, I heard somebody like on, on wooden stairs. These shoes and this, eh, this can't stand here forever or for three days. Because of the water, the snow just melted. Mysterious boots. Okay, so somebody's here. Um, okay, Irving, what are you doing? What's hiding behind second floor's sealed door? Hello? So Irving is here. Irving just arrived. Is this possible? I don't know if these boots were here, I don't remember, but this is water from the snow, so somebody came in recently. Otherwise, this would have dried up already. What? Somebody's closing the doors behind us. Not all the doors, but this door. Is it an automatic? I don't know. First floor overlook. Who cares? So somebody's in the house. Because we heard him went up to go upstairs. You said this like eight times now. Yes, because I'm nervous now. This is a nice... Th nothing is happening in this game, basically, besides the story, but it's really interesting. Let's go to the attic thingy. Where was that? Uh-huh. And she's saying nothing? Somebody opened this door, honey. Why isn't she saying something like, oops, look at this. Somebody opened the door. So he's here. OK. 
Okay, the only door we can open is this, all right? Yeah, let's go. Wait, what is this? <gasps> He's here the whole time, Irving. This is why he could... What? Maybe I'm stupid now. Then I re... Rachel Foster. He's sleeping here. Irving. <gasps> Her car. Nicholas Data. Nicole Wilson. Small town girl. Nicole may be a... Right? Evidence. We killed her. MTVHS. That's my car. What? Floating figure outside. Strange Nights, 1989. Shut up. Scene 1987. Dining room, hotel. Okay. But he... This is... This has to be him, right? Loading up... Right. Load... Loads up snow. Montana weather? Eh. Evidence. Car engine? Eh? He was... Somebody was taking pictures. When we went into the garage at one time, there was some noise, like somebody was walking away. Okay. So Irving is here. Hello? I imagine you found my room. Yeah. What? what does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. Oh. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. Us. You. Me. I, I. Why the room? Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. 
hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I, we yeah. did it for years, day <clears throat> after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. Mm -hmm. It's time for the truth to come out. Okay. Finally. Where are you? What do you want to do? Who are you? Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. His father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful He's the brother sister. of Rachel. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yeah. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Yep. Nothing maybe. more, nothing less. Oh. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was her sis his sister. Your sister. Now I remember mm -hmm. you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Yep. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Yeah, an invisible person. I know that. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. Uh -huh. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events as you'll understand as you've already begun to understand for the first time in years I depended on someone and this is the result you have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go you will be the new witness you owe it to us. Eh? And you owe it to her. What? I don't understand. Yeah, I know the door is open now. Hello. I don't get it. Oh, the attic. Yeah, let's go. We die anyway. Oh no, no pictures. Hello. He's gone. Ah. Rachel? Let 
Leonard's Thoughts. Oh. Oopsie. Yeah, I know we have to. We have to start the film. That's it, I think. And then the story is over. Rachel? So her brother? I don't get it. Who killed her? At the telescope. Okay, let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious. Um, oh, irrevocable. Oh, I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. Mm -hmm. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, mm -hmm. in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. Yeah. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Yeah, what is he talking about? Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. Mm -hmm. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. Mm -hmm. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So you don't get this now. How are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. Murderer. What? I'm leaving. No, it's not good the stairs, right? The ghost could. Murderer. I need to investigate the addict before it investigates me. She'll reveal the truth. Right? Rachel? Rachel? Eh, I don't get it. The light of Egypt, yeah, nice. Yeah. Thinking through mathematics. Wow, interesting. Wait. Hmm. 
No. Ähm. Ranking Rachel Leonard Lem uh, What? Leonard Leonardi Checkwards Rachel Leonard We have a key, Claire Who's Claire? I clear myself from Claire But somebody wrote Murderer on this, and we saw that, so it's there is a ghost here. Nobody could flee from here, right? So we know there is a ghost. So let's go to Claire. Who's Claire? Inside Claire's car. Ah, our mother. Our mother's car. Oh, okay, let's go. But where's Irving? Irving! Can we talk? Irving? Can we talk? He was living here all the time. But he was taking the picture of me, my car, here, everywhere. What a weirdo. But we still don't know, was it an accident? Or was it... There. That's him. There he took a picture of us. <gasps> Every time we heard somebody... When we were somewhere, we heard somebody walk or something. Like somebody was walking. Maybe he took a picture of us. Like when we were here, or here, and here. We heard somebody walk here too. So he took a picture of us every time. What a weirdo, what a creep. So you're the brother of Rachel. We have to go to the garage, right? Oh! That wasn't nice. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. That's what I said. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. There's what else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. Okay. What does that mean? You have to tie the pieces together. We are the sum of the people we take with us. Sorry for and screaming. you abandoned these people. Here in this place. I refuse to keep listening to you. I just want to get out of here. I'm tired. Me too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. So we were right that she was absolutely jealous of Rachel because her father loved her. I know we have to go to the to the car, mother's car. I know. Um and um So we killed Rachel. Right? Fuck 
Esel, no, Mule. We got an achievement called Mule. Uh, yeah, we got a... Huh? What's in the blanket? What was it? 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 How the hell should I know? Mom's car. Well, that's a beetle, so um, the um, in case you're wondering, the trunk is up front. Um, uh, yeah. How the hell should I know? We don't have a... We have a... My car. Yeah, I get it. Eh? Can we read something there? Huh? P A? Is it a P? Please? So what do we do now? Leonard's mo Oh, that's the m motorbike from our dad. Didn't realize that. Uh, go back upstairs? I knew it. Um, I have no idea. What's in the blanket? What's in the blanket? Do something here now? No. So he thinks I killed Rachel. Maybe not really physically, but emotionally. No, I think I killed Rachel. That's what is he's gunning at. That's what we said. I said. We said. Our said. But and I get the next goal now. To do list. What is this blanket? What is? What was it? What is this blanket? I have no idea. Um, main floor? First floor? Do we have to go back to the attic? Locker room, church? Okay, let's go back to the attic. That's the only idea I have. I was there, so and or we go back to the church. That could be one possibility. Shut up. Loser. What a loser. His whole life just what was that? Ah, clouds in my coffee, clouds in my coffee. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 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 I get it. Hey, can we do something there? Did you take a picture of me while I took the... But why the attic? I don't get this. Murderer? That's us. What? What's in the blanket? To-do list. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, the attic wasn't the right thing, right? The question is, what is... What's in this blanket? Well, we can open it, right? We can use it. Um, can we go downstairs? This flashlight is brilliant. I'm eating a carrot because I'm I'm a healthy guy. No. Okay. Eh? Didn't I see this before? What can we do? What's in the blanket? Where do we find a place to open the blanket? Because the question is what's in the blanket, so we have to look inside the blanket, right? Uh, we look at the blanket in... Uh, no, what was the question? Wait. What's in this blanket? If she has the blanket, she should know, because you feel it, right? Or am I wrong? See? He's here, somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go. I think there's one thing we can do. I have any idea where that is. Where's the laundry room? Not here. Where's the laundry room? No, this is a ski room, okay. Let's open it. Brace? Oh! I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, 
said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Her mother killed Rachel? Not even on her deathbed. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. Wow. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. What? But I'm grown up now. What? Now... We can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. Eh? Well. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but... <laughs> I never thought it was so. So he's now crazy and he wants to kill us. What? Irving, where are you? It's quite as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You. You left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll. You'll die out there. Irving, please. 
lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. Mm -hmm. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, what? pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. And another time. Beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Eh? Nothing? He killed himself? Now that he knows the truth, he killed himself? I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? What? Alone. That was it. Oh. Uh oh. Yes? They thought it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you... Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. What? I see. Well, you're the owner. And you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Oh, you did. Huh? What? No! You know, um, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last night? No, time? we don't would kill. Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad. She's trying to kill herself. It would be so nice. Why? Yes. No. No. I want us to survive. Hello. I don't want us to be killed. Just because she has bad memories. It's not her fault by any chance, is it? I mean, her mom? Okay. I was so right that it was a jealous... Jealousy, so that, that Rachel was killed, not never a suicide. And I thought we did it, but our mom did it. The day she left our dad, when she finally knew that Rachel was pregnant, I think. And Rachel was... I'll stay here with you, Daddy. No. Mom, we will bring back the Timberline to its fortune, together. We'll be you, happy again. You can't do it when you're dead. So for me, the game ends here because I want her to live. Family. 
No more anger. Oh, look at this. Nice, so we didn't kill ourselves. Hello. <laughs> I had no idea there was an option. Well, that was an interesting ending, wasn't it? The Suicide of Rachel Foster. What a nice story game. A really great game. I just enjoyed it. The voice acting was great. It was kind of scary at times. And um, kind of weird at times. So you really have to... I thought she did it. I thought Rachel killed... Uh, um, we did it. We killed Rachel, but I had no idea that it was the mother. But I was close. I said at one... one chapter that I think that we killed Rachel and our mother knew this and that we were um, that that's why she left not because of that was the only mistake I made I think great story but I wouldn't have killed myself I have to say he killed himself Irving and um, yeah we killed ourselves too I didn't I didn't kill myself here in this game. I didn't do it. So, in my opinion, we survived. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I keep the, the last episode, the last chapter will be 45 minutes or something, but it's stupid to just chop it off. That's the ending of it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, and watch a little bit of this. Thanks for doing this. And maybe you come back for another video. Bye-bye.